Setting up for a laser cut in position. This is very important. We're going to be doing this. This is one of those things. So let's say I had a product that needed to be cut out with a laser over and over and over again. Okay. I would have to find what the maximum amount of area there is inside that laser. So our laser in the classroom is 24 by 18. Horizontal vertical. So that's in inches. Let's go to a new document. There is technically a margin in the fact that you do not want the outside of the piece of paper or whatever you're cutting to be the outside because what will happen is the laser will get too close to the outside and there's no f factor of mistake there. So in this case, let's do this. There's multiple things we need. The margin I'm going to say 2 millimeters is a really nice margin for the laser cutter. So it's in millimeters. Then I'm dealing with paper. So I'll switch over to inches. 8.5. Oh, wait, wait. 24 by 18. But the product I'm using is in millimeters. So I'll switch back over to millimeters. And there we go. It's all set up. Math people, the people that teach math, just they just faded in their chair because I just I just made it so students didn't have to calculate. But oh. <laughs> now here, let's take this. And let's lay out a product as an example. And we'll just throw the product out as something like, uh, let's say, I'll make up some numbers, 50 by 20. And let's say, I'm, I'm typing over on my other screen, I'm sorry, but uh, I have to make some fictitious numbers because I want you to look up the actual numbers later. All right. So my product is going to be 50 by 20 with a 3 millimeter rounded edge. All right. Let's do that. Draw your product, and the product I know is uh, going to be offset from the outside edge by two millimeters, because that's where my margin is. So you should have probably wrote that down, if that's the case. And 50 by 30, and I said the shape has a three millimeter rounded edge. So there we go. So now if I want to offset that, and how many of these fit on this area? It's huge. Huge. So let's look at that. How many does fit on that area? Well, let's go to multiple. And I'm going to say, geez, there could be 600, there's 600 millimeters, right? And then there's 50 of these. So let's let's actually use a calculator a little bit. Um, so there's 600 millimeters divided by, and I know the product is 50 millimeters, it's 12. Okay. Now I didn't have to convert over to like fractions or anything like that. Only SAE, which is the American standard of uh, measurement, do I have to do all that jazz? <laughs> That's why I use millimeters a lot. Because it's accurate, and there's not a lot of conversion. There does, doesn't have to be. So I know the product is 30 in this case, and I know that there is 
what? Where's this at? Well, I can drag out a guide if I wanted to to get it, but I'm in here, so I don't. I'm not able to. So I'm going to say that's at least maybe five. We'll go five hundred. Sixteen point six 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 six. So we're going to go sixteen. And I know the horizontal and vertical gap has to be at least two millimeters because that way it doesn't burn the next product if it's a laser layout. All right, let's hit OK. Wow. You can just see that there's so many of these you can fit on one 24 by 18. So when you would duplicate this is when what? Well, let's say I had it all done. I had my design all done. That's when you would duplicate. But it's good to see the layout. You know what I mean? Like this is how many fit on this area if I had this rotational value. And keep in mind, you know, it could be the other rotation. And you've seen that in one of the other videos where I had it this way and I rotated it. But this is a laser cut layout. You just have to have the product and you have to have a gap in between the product. And you should experiment to find out since we have this many of this product fitting on this area, what happens if you rotate it? Because in the challenge, I'm going to make you have a laser, make you make a laser cut product and what you got to understand is how many lays out well and how to convert over to inches and millimeters okay all right so let's go on to the next video